Inside this box is a very special camera. Let's open it up. So one of the outstanding qualities of any Hasselblad camera has always been the beautiful classic and iconic design. From one of the first consumer cameras like the vintage Hasselblad 1600F and onto the 1000F in the early 50s. Then came the revolutionary 500C, one of the most iconic cameras in photographic history. And to look at this new camera with cutting edge technology, leather-like finish and chrome detailing, you'd think it was straight out of the 1950s as well. And that's because, in a way, it is. The 907X and CFV100C has been designed to be backwards compatible with those beautiful cameras of the past. Converting old Hasselblads like the 500 series analog camera into a state-of-the-art digital camera. Now the modular design has three intelligent uses. Firstly being fully compatible with the newest XCD lenses like the 90V, 28, 55, the 45P or the 81.9. Even using appropriate adapters this camera is also compatible with HC, HCD lenses, plus X-pan lenses from the unique dual format camera. Second, it can be directly attached to those classic V-cam bodies like the 500 and 200 series, turning those iconic film cameras into modern day digital ones. And finally, using V-plate adapters, you can attach the CFV digital back to technical cameras for more precise shooting needs. That makes this camera probably the most versatile Hasselblad ever designed. That's lovely. The necklace isn't quite central, can you, can you feel that? There you go. Chin down ever so slightly there. Beautiful. Work it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's engage the new autofocus face detect. I'm just going to check focus here. Yeah, that's lovely. And if you do exactly the same again with the hair. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Love it. It is the lightest and smallest medium format camera on the market today weighing in at about 750 grams with the battery installed. And it comes with a massive 100 megapixel sensor, which boasts a 16-bit HNCS color science, which is their own natural color solution. And what this means to us regular mortals is that the camera captures color as close to how a human eye perceives color. 281 trillion colors to be precise. Now, when I first heard that number, I thought, nah, surely they mean billion. Nope, trillion. Now the autofocus system on this camera uses phase detection, which simply put splits the image into two. When the two images align, the camera has gained perfect focus. Now the PDAF system has 294 focus zones covering 97% of the focus area. That's the same as the more expensive X2D medium format camera. And of course we now have included in the firmware autofocus face detect, just like the X2D. In fact, there isn't much difference between the technical specs of these two cameras apart from two major ones. Firstly, it can perform that magic trick of turning an exceptional old Hasselblad into a brand new digital one. And second is image stabilization. There is no IBIS on this camera. Hasselblad has marketed this camera more towards still life, environmental portraits, and studio photographers. And because of the lightweight design of the 907X with the digital back, landscape photographers can benefit from the awesome image quality produced by this camera. For these reasons, the camera does not include an image stabilization system, unlike the X2D and its industry-leading five-axis IBIS design which by the way has completely blown me away over the last year. Even so, these cameras have very different uses and meaning. You are more likely to be taking photos using either a tripod or using flash photography, which by its very nature can freeze action when you take the shot. 
For handheld exposures, you would need to follow the rule of thumb, which is a shutter speed higher than the focal length of the lens. For instance, if you have a 45 millimeter, your shutter would need to be minimum one over 45th of a second, or preferably double in order to reduce that camera shake. This image was handheld using the 45p set to 1 over 45th of a second and only just manages to produce an image without camera shake. I would recommend at least double the shutter to the focal length. If you're shooting moving people, then 500th of a second to reduce motion blur. Tethering is a design feature of the CFV100C, which includes a dedicated tethering and charging port, which is recessed into the digital back to hold the USB-C tethering cable in place when shooting handheld. And the brilliant new focus software for Windows and Mac enables you to see a live view when shooting tethered, so artistic directors can get involved in the creative process, and of course, captured images can be edited on the fly. I'm deliberately underexposing the scene here so the flash will do all of the work to light up Sinead. And let it go. Now the control grip is an optional accessory which attaches securely to the base of the 907X using a thread pin and contact points. Again, it's been well engineered to accompany the classic look and feel of the camera body with this leather-like and chrome finish. It offers aperture and shutter wheels for quick exposure adjustments, four customizable buttons, and a very welcome joystick for moving the autofocus points. Something that is sadly lacking on the X2D medium format camera. The handle is very well balanced and aesthetically just looks the business. You have the shutter button on the front of the camera flanked by the aperture wheel, which changes to a shutter speed wheel when pressing the shift button on the side. Any other adjustments that you need to make will be using this brilliant tilting touchscreen for those top-down shots. If you've ever owned a classic analog Hasselblad, then you'll be familiar with this style of shooting. And because this camera has been tuned for studio and portrait photography, we have this clever hot shoe mount for attaching flash controllers like the ST3, which is a compatible Nikon mount. Just a bit more head this way. There you go, nice. Chin up a little bit. There. Yeah, just brighten those eyes a touch. There. Lovely. Just try. That's nice. You're in the shot. <laughs> I guess the only other thing to mention about this camera is the one terabyte solid state disk of internal memory. I've never felt the need on my X2D to use a CF Express card, but should you feel the need for safety, there is one. But you know, this solid state disk is solid as a rock. So here on a Ferrari shoot, and that is an F12 TDF. On my 80mm 1.9, the clarity of this lens with that beast of a sensor is breathtaking. Please think about following me on Instagram at Mark McGee Photos, and if you'd like to support me and my channel, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you on the next video.